fourscore and seven years ago our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Hmm, not quite. Four score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Better. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We come to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place for those who died here that the nation might live. Oh, let me try again. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. We are met here on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of it as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. Ah, better. Did you notice how your feelings change with the changing of words and grammar structures? In Unit 3, you will learn about uh, persuasive techniques to get your audience to take action. Your lessons um, talk about appealing to reason, using hard facts, statistics, experts. Last week, we learned about ethical appeal, trustworthiness. Remember Alexander Gardner in the Civil War pictures? Remember how upset you got when uh, he wasn't really trustworthy. So you appeal to reason. You appeal to ethics. How do you persuade your audience to take action? Emotional appeal. How do you define emotional appeal? We are groovy. We are cool. We are excellent. How does that make you feel? If you're told that over and over again, how does it make you feel? Who would have thought that grammar could create emotional appeal? You are going to become a grammar detective today. We are going to be looking at how you can use prepositions, verbals and action verbs, and personal pronouns. So grab your hat, grab your overcoat, and your spy glass, and let's see how we can use grammar to create emotional appeal. We're going to start with prepositions. And we're going to take a look at another passage of the Gettysburg Address. So while I'm reading this, look for prepositions. That this nation shall have a new birth of freedom, and that this government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Of the people, by the people, for the people. Lincoln's use of three prepositional phrases sounded the people three times like a tolling bell. The people, the people, the people. How do bells make you feel? Is this an effective emotional appeal? Next, we're going to look at verbals and action verbs. Energy. I need energy. Where are the action verbs and verbals? Energy words, action verbs and verbals, participles, infinitives, and gerunds. Did Lincoln load his speech with verbals, gerunds, participles, and infinitives made from action verbs? Let's take a look, detectives. Our fathers brought forth a new nation conceived in liberty. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to detect or to detract. It is for us, the living. So, detectives, what did you find? Brought, consecrated, verbs, good action verbs, Conceived, living, struggled, participles, 
to add, to detract, infinitives, living, a nice gerund. So looking at Lincoln's verb choice, linking verbs versus action verbs and verbals, what did he care about? We are met, we are engaged. People's actions. When you persuade, you should be concerned about people's actions. You want them to do something. How does the use of action verbs and verbals make you feel? Is this an effective emotional appeal? Next, we're going to look at personal pronouns. Heart. Where is the heart of Lincoln's speech? The subject pronouns, we and they. Remember, subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, we, they. So, detectives, let's get to work. We are met. We have come. We are engaged. We should do this. They did. They gave. They who fought. They fought here, struggled here, consecrated this ground with their blood, never to forget what they did. They gave full devotion. We are engaged. We can never forget. We must highly resolve that the dead have not died in vain. How does the use of personal pronouns, we and they, make you feel? Is this another effective emotional appeal? As a result of becoming a grammar detective, you discovered the emotional appeal created by Lincoln in the Gettysburg Address. Now, you can use grammar to create emotional appeal. Write a plan to use grammar to create emotional appeal. Submit your plan by Friday, March 8th, and earn 10 challenge points.